Hey everybody, this is my 20 gallon open topped angelfish tank down in my fish room. And I've actually been getting kind of distracted while I've been getting ready to shoot this video. I've been watching my mystery snail that is clinging on for dear life to this java fern here. I just topped off the tank with a couple of inches of water. In fact, you can kind of see where the water line was right here. So it was significantly lower and the inflow of the water coming in was actually falling into the tank and was not causing that java fern to move around at all in the water current and now it's going everywhere i just cannot believe that that snail is still hanging on you can even see the snail's antennae coming out like it's waving around looking for a place to go or something it's just interesting that it's hanging on through all of this uh turbulence the other one, of course, is very sensibly hanging on to the glass over there. So what we've got going on tonight, you can probably tell by the bubbles in the tank, is that we have started a ChemiClean treatment on this tank. I didn't really know what to do for a video tonight, and I thought this would be a good sort of starter video. We're going to come back in a couple of days and have a look at what this looks like, so I will do a before and after uh, video in a couple of days if you've missed this one you will still get to see the before and after effect but in my latest round the world update I showed you this tank I talked about how the cyanobacteria was growing like a carpet or a lawn a green lawn across the bottom of the tank and it still is and it's spreading out and it's getting a little more prolific I'm even starting to get some green growing on the glass that does not look like algae. So the cyanobacteria may very well be growing on the glass uh, too. So I do have the two snails that we just looked at. Still hanging in there. And I also have a clown pleco in this tank. And you can tell they're still in there scraping away because how clean those rocks are how clean the leaves are on all this java fern which you can see through the bubbles there but you can tell that's nice and bright green it doesn't have that cyanobacteria growing all over it but if you look carefully if you see that white rock in the back you can see how the cyanobacteria is trying to sort of creep up and over it if you look at the end of that piece of wood the cyanobacteria is working its way up and over that that rock in the back has the cyanobacteria starting to sort of crawl over it if left alone, it will eventually just sort of crawl over everything in the tank. And that is because the snails and the pleco, the rubber lip or the, uh, no, no fish really, but the, the um, clown pleco that I have in this tank and the rubber lips that I have in so many of my other tanks don't eat this stuff. If there's tiny little bits of it on that rock, for example, and it's grazing away and scraping and feeding on that rock, then it will keep it clean, and it'll keep that little tiny bit of cyanobacteria removed. But the stuff grows pretty fast, so if you wind up getting some of it starting to creep up and grow a little more than normal, then the pleco will stop feeding right there, and it just allows that cyanobacteria to start really taking hold. And then, of course, the more that's on there, the less likely anything is to come along and clean it. And so little by little, the cyanobacteria wins, and you'll never get your fish to completely stay on top of keeping it clean unless you've got a small army of cleaning fish in there, and then they can kind of stay ahead of it. Uh, again, I've talked about this before, that I don't know the rhyme or reason behind the cyanobacteria, why I get it in some tanks, why um, I get certain species of it in some tanks and not others. I have different cyanobacteria that grows in different tanks, and then I have other tanks that never have problems with it. Um, don't really know what's going on with that, and again, as I've said before, don't really care. Not that big a deal to just get in here and treat it. So tonight, we started the ChemiClean treatment. I put the stuff in. It's not really a big deal. I don't really need to show you how to do it. It's a little powder that comes in a little jar. You take two little scoops. That there is the scoop. It is a tiny little thing that treats 10 gallons, that scoop. So two of these went into this tank tonight. Of course, you put that in a little bit of water and you mix it in and then you pour the water into the tank. You don't pour the medication directly into the tank. Some medications you do but that's usually mentioned in the instructions that that's how you're supposed to do it. If you don't see it in the instructions that you're supposed to deliberately put it right directly in the tank, then assume that you are not. Assume that you should mix it up 
uh, in a separate container and then bring it over and pour that into your tank. And so that's how you're supposed to do it with the ChemiClean. So there you go. That's about all I've got to say is we're just going to get started tonight. I will uh, shoot some footage here, get a little bit of a before look at what the tank looks like. And then that way in a couple days, once that stuff starts dying off, we can have the direct before and after. And we'll get a really good look at how effective this ChemiClean stuff is. Now remember, this is not going to sterilize my tank for now and forever. And I'll never see chemi you know, I'll never see the cyanobacteria again. It just doesn't work that way. This tank gets the cyanobacteria in it. In fact, if you look at the shell of that snail, I don't know if you've noticed that before, but you can see the bright green growing on that. And you can even see a couple little patches of bright green growing on that one. That is cyanobacteria growing on the shell. So we will see what that does in a few days. And as I said, you know, it gets in this tank. So you give it six months and we'll be having the same conversation. And we'll be talking about ChemiClean in this tank again. It's just part of regular old maintenance. So there you go. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss any of that coming up. Uh, or any of the videos I'm going to have going on around the fish room here uh, with everything else I got going. So make sure you subscribe. You won't miss any of that. And don't forget, this one, of course, is my angelfish tank. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.